Mon question. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. And uh, the chamber will hear La chambre va à présent entendre le témoin de CW804. Officer, please invite the witness into the courtroom. Le témoin dans le prétoire. President, good afternoon. Mr. Winnes, what is your President, name? Monsieur le témoin, bonjour. Quel est votre nom? Winnes. Réponse. My name is Otsain. Je suis Otsain. Question. Question. Thank you, Mr. Otsain. When Monsieur were you Otsain. born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Please observe the microphone. Attendez que le microphone soit allumé, s'il vous plaît. Answer. Réponse. I was born on... The 7th January 1956. 1956. President, thank Président. you, Mr. Otsang. Where were you born? Merci, Monsieur Otsang. Où êtes-vous né? I was born in Kong Sai Village, Kampung Thomo District, Sub District, Santuk District, Kampung Thom Province. Question, and what about your current address? Where do you live? And what is your occupation? Currently, I am living in Kong Sai Village, Kampung Thom Sub District, Santuk District, Kampung Thom Province. I am an official of the Kampong Thom Provincial Water Resources and Meteorology Office. President, thank you. What are your parents' names? President, merci. Comment se nomment vos parents? My father's name is Ut Kiu. Réponse. Le nom de mon père est Ut Kiu. And my mother's name is Luang Ian. President, thank you. President, and what about your merci. wife? What is her Parlez name and how many children femme? do you have together? My wife's name is Kam Salat. We have Kam three Salat. children, Nous two son and one daughter. Deux fils, une fille. Thank you, Mr. Otisain. In accordance with the oral report Président, of the greffier, to your best knowledge, none of your father, mother, ascendant children or descendant brother and sister in law or wife, you rather you have no relationship with any one of the accused in this case. Is that true? En l'espèce, est-ce exact? Answer: I have no relationship Réponse. with. Je n'ai aucun aucun lien avec. Les said the witness. President, thank you. President. And uh, I was told that uh, you have uh, taken an oath Merci. already before you are before this chamber. Is that true? Answer: Yes, that Réponse. is true. Oui, 
Now, the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obliga obligation as a witness. Mr. Singh, as a witness in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you, that is your rights against self-incrimination. Your obligation as a witness in the proceeding before the chamber, you may, you must respond to any question by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions may incriminate you as the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. And uh, as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the question that the bench or parties pose to you. Mr. Otsain, have you ever provided any statement to the investigator of the OCIJ? If you have, how many times? Have you provided that statement? Answer. I was interviewed once, perhaps in 2005 or 2006, at Stung Chinat Dam. President, thank you. Before you are here, have you read the previous statement that you gave to the investigator of the OCIJ? Answer. Yes, I have already read it. President, to your best knowledge, and to your recollection, does this statement reflect what you have stated? Answer. Yes, it reflects uh, what I gave uh, to the investigator. President, thank you. In accordance with 91 bis of the internal rule, the chamber now gives the floor to the, the co-prosecutor to put question to this uh, witness before other parties. And I would like to inform that the combined time for the co-prosecutor and colleague lawyers is uh, two sessions for this witness. You may not proceed. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone, in and uh, around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I am Sri Rodanak, the National Deputy Co-prosecutor. I have a few questions to put to you in relation to the work that you conducted between 1975 and 1979. Where did you live before 1975? Answer. Before 1975, I lived in Phnom Penh with my elder sister. Question. What did you do then? Que faisiez-vous à l'époque? Answer. I studied in uh, Tultumpung College. Réponse. I was a student. J'ai au collège de Tultumpung. À l'université de Tultumpung, j'étais étudiant. And later, between the 17th Question of April 1975 7 January of 1979, where did you live? 
on I was evacuated from Phnom Penh. Été évacué de Phnom Penh. And I went to live in my birth village je suis, in je me suis rendu dans mon village Kongsao natal, village, Kongsao, Kampong Tomo district, Kampong Tom province. I had to travel one month to reach my destination. Question, you were Question. transferred from Phnom Penh to live in Santok district, Kampong Tom province. Did you know the 1st January dam? Answer. I know it clearly because the dam was located near my uh, village. Question. Beside the fact that uh, the first January dam uh, was close to your village, uh, what, how, what, uh, what, how did you know that uh, it, how did you know it well? Answer. In 1980, I uh, became a public servant at the uh, Water Resources and Meteorology Office, and I have been in this position until now. Co-prosecutor, I would like to ask you about the period between 1975 and 1979. Uh, you told the court that you were living close to the dam. And besides that, why did you know this dam well? Outre ce fait là, comment se fait-il que vous connaissiez déjà bien le barrage? And uh, in late 1976, fin 1976, I was uh, put in the youth unit in Kampong district de to dig the uh, canal and to build the dam at Stung Chinat. But first, I was asked to work on the de canal as the, the dam itself canal. was not uh, yet Le built until 1978. So I uh, was asked to work in the dam size of uh, the Sangkat or village. Dans le village de Sangkat. Question. I heard you mention Stung Chinat Dam. Was there any other name for this Stung Chinat Dam? Ce barrage de Stung Chinat portait-il un autre nom? Answer. In 1975, this dam was known as uh, the 1st January Dam. Co thank you. Je vous remercie. How long were you assigned to build the dam? Pendant combien de temps vous a-t-on demandé de travailler à la construction du barrage? Answer. I do not recall it. But je I remember pas. that I was put in the Mais youth group que placé or unit. In fact, in fact, this dam belongs to the zone. En fait, ce and uh, à there la zone. were many sectors in the zone, so there were 42, 43 sectors. There was sector 42 and 43 working at that time site. Co-prosecutor. From what I heard, there were many workers from dire, il y avait bon nombre de sectors bon nombre 42 and 43. Is that correct to say the dam was uh, built by the many workers from uh, sectors 42 and 43? Answer, yes, you Réponse, could say so. Oui, on peut dire cela.
question to question. your observation. How many workers were there building the dam? Combien de travailleurs étaient là pour construire le barrage? Answer. Réponse. There were many of them. Ils étaient très nombreux. And uh, I knew only the fact that there were many people uh, working at the dam site close to my uh, workstation. Co-prosecutor, when did the construction start? Do you recall it? Answer, the construction started in 1978, in early 1978. Question. Question. During the period that you were assigned to Pendant work la at the dam site, vous a de sur how le many site de members travail, were there in your unit? Combien de d'ouvriers y avait-il dans votre unité? Answer. There were 33 members in my unit, and there were three groups in my unit. Il y avait trois membres et trois groupes. And one group unité, consisted un groupe of uh, 12 members. Était composé de 12 membres. Again, I'm sorry, a 10 to 12. One group consisted of a 10 to 12 members, said the witness. Co-prosecutor, how was the group divided on, based Et on what uh, situation that uh, the Groups uh, was divided. En fonction de quels critères divisait-on les groupes? Answer. The total number of workers in the units de travailleurs dans les unités was uh, uh, more than thousand. And then uh, these workers were divided into units. Ces ensuite divisés en unités. Co-prosecutor, in document E3 slash 5267, Ian in Khmer, 0027-1407, English 0028-2355, French 0048-2932, you stated that when one was considered a lazy one, uh, this individual was put in the lazy group. And if one did not try to work hard, uh, he or she would be killed. Please translation. What do you mean by saying this? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là? Answer. I understand that this is a warning for Ce que je comprends, c'est que c'est un avertissement à notre intention. And uh, these people were put in a special unit because uh, they uh, did not perform hard enough. And there were only 20 members in that unit. que 20 membres dans cette unité. We were afraid of uh, being put in that special unit. Nous, nous if uh, we were to be put in spéciale. that special unit, we would be si asked to perform harder work. De plus dur. Question. You. Question. You stated that uh, 20 people were selected from uh, the 500 uh, workers and put in that special unit. How did you know that? Cinq que l'on vint plutôt que l'on plaçait dans cette unité spéciale. Comment le saviez-vous? Answer. The food ration Réponse. given to the 17 April people and uh, the base people was different. The gruel for 17 April people was uh, watery. 
and uh, for the base people, they could have a better gruel. Les gens du peuple de base, eux, avaient de la bouillie I would like plus to consistante. reformulate my question. How did you know that uh, there was a special unit at that place? Avez-vous appris qu'il y avait une unité spéciale à cet endroit? Answer. Réponse. The mobile unit in the commune were working close to each other. And in the les evening, les unes des autres. Et le soir, we had to join the, the criticism meeting. Nous à une and de uh, we were instructed and told that uh, there were special units. Il y avait des unités the purpose of having a special unit was to deter other people from de la being lazy. Co-prosecutor, I would like to know about your working conditions. Uh, what were you assigned to do at that time? I was told to carry dirt. Only the unit chiefs were standing and looking Seul at us, and uh, for other workers, they had to join in the work assignment that is carrying the co-prosecutor. How was the work divided in relation to Comment carrying the Answer, Réponse. for instance, if one unit chief uh, receive a quota of uh, 100 un meters exemple. of land to si work on, and then uh, the uh, parcelle, unit chief uh, would uh, assign that chef alors plot of land, that is a 100 meter of land for workers to do. Cette parcelle entre les ouvriers de son groupe. What do you mean by uh, referring to Question. the meters, 100 meters of land? Vous avez parlé d'une parcelle de 100 mètres. Please observe the microphone, Mr. Witness. Le Wynest. président, veuillez faire attention Wynest. au micro, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur le témoin. Le témoin. The uh, land was uh, measured based on the land condition. Le terrain If the était land mesuré, condition was uh, quite good, and the uh, person or the group or you need to receive a large amount of work to do. Co-prosecutor, I understand that at, at that time uh, the land was measured in the cubic meter. So how? Je croyais avoir compris que le terrain what, uh, what do you mean by the saying about the measurement cube. of the land? Qu'avez-vous voulu dire vous-même? À propos des mesures du terrain. Witness. So if uh, we Le receive témoin. our work assignment of uh, 10 meters for the group, we had to complete it si at the end of the day and to make it de into a shape of canal. Il fallait que le groupe le fasse. Co-prosecutor, you exemple, stated that uh, people had to work in group, and uh, one group Question, may have received uh, 30 meters of uh, land to work on. And was there terrain? any subgroups divided at the time? Des à President, uh, please wait. Uh, Mr. Wynne, you may not see the lawyer Kong Som On. Lawyer Kong Som On. I would like to Maître call Kong the objection Samman. to the question. Uh, Mr. Witness uh, did not state that uh, one group received the quota of uh, 30 meters of land to work on. Terre. Witness said that the one group uh, may receive uh, 30 meters of land to work on, and on some other groups, they may have received uh, 10 or 20 meters of land to work on. It depended on the uh, land condition. So the uh, statement made by the co-prosecutor is not correct. Co-prosecutor, I heard that the, yes, the work, the amount of land uh, would be 
given to respective groups and dire que le terrain était réparti entre I would les like to ask groupes. a witness about this uh, matter. Et je voulais qu'il nous en dise plus à ce sujet. Did you personally personally receive the quota of work? So Vous a-t-on personnellement demandé de respecter un quota of work you had to do at the time? Quelle était la quantité de travail que vous deviez accomplir à l'époque? Witness. There were two or three members in a one group. We could Réponse. decide to select our group, group members. Il pouvait y avoir deux ou trois personnes qui étaient choisies. If uh, we could have finished uh, one or two meters of uh, soi for the day, we and if we were satisfied with uh, any members mm. of the group, we could choose and select uh, members of our own group. However, we had to si complete our work quota or work assignment in one day. Qui était fixé chaque jour. Co prosecutor you may continue your answer, please. Le coprocureur, allez-y, poursuivez, s'il vous plaît. I, business, I forget uh, what I was le about témoin. to say. J'ai oublié ce que j'étais sur le point de vous dire. Coprocureur, you was about to mention about le the group, and you have stated vous that there were group. ten, perhaps ten members in your group. And you also stated that uh, there were two or three members in one group, and you, uh, we puis, you could choose and select a group member. So could you elaborate more on this? Pour faire partie du groupe, est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire un peu plus, s'il vous plaît? Witness, the work was divided among uh, all of us. Le For témoin. example, if uh, our nous group nous had 10 members or si if our group had two or three members, exemple. we had to complete our work nous assignment. If uh, one worker received uh, one meter of land to work on and if another worker received the same si amount of land to work on, personnes, we can uh, join together and si work on the voyons, uh, combined amount of land together. Co-prosecutor, do I understand correctly that uh, one person, for example, may have received uh, one meter of land to Donc, work on and another worker may, receive, may have received the same amount and you two could uh, work together. Is that correct? Mr. President, I would like to put to my last question again. Mr. Winners, my last question is that you stated that two people may have received uh, two meters of land to work on, and you could uh, choose to work together. Et que ces deux personnes pouvaient That's faire le choix de travailler to your ensemble. Statement you just made earlier. J'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit. Answer. For instance, the two meter of land uh, must had to be completed Réponse. by uh, two of us. And, to, and we had to make it into a canal. Pan canal. 
question, which really sets the quota and question. the depth of the canal, which really set it, and what Qui was the la profondeur what du was the maximum depth of quelle the canal, la profondeur maximum and how wide was the uh, canal? Et était sa largeur? Answer. Réponse. Here I refer to the smaller form of a canal. Je vous parle ici des canaux the, les plus petits. The upper width was five meters wide, en amont, and the lower and the bottom part was four meters wide, en and aval, the depth le, was de two meter deep, and it was mètres. actually uh, measured for us already. Les mesures avaient été prises pour nous. Question. Question. What I'm to ask you is in relation to your work uh, quota at uh, the first January Dam website. However, you uh, just talk about the smaller form of canal. Are you referring to the same work site or uh, to another work site? Because from your previous statement, you said you worked at uh, various work sites. Car However, my line of questioning is only related to the first in Redem work site. Ne vous parlez que du chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. Answer. No. I Réponse. refer to the a smaller feeding canal branch of the first January Dam work site. As for the first January Dam work site itself, our unit worked in work in a bigger, at a bigger scale. The upper width was about uh, 20 meters wide. Sur un canal dans and the depth de was between 2 to 3 meters deep. Et de deux, trois mètres de Question. Please uh, do not confuse between uh, the measurement of a canal and uh, the measurement of the dam itself. Il faut pas y ait de I refer to uh, the work that you did at the first January dam Moi, work site. Please uh, clarify it to the court. Pourriez-vous bien préciser les choses à l'intention de la chambre, s'il vous plaît? Did the assignment of a true meter land strip for two workers Cette was at the first January dam work site? confiée aux ouvriers Était-ce une parcelle qui se trouvait sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier Answer. ou pas Answer. I refer to a, a smaller feeder uh, canal assigned by canal the uh, commune for the uh, commune mobile unit and not, the, not the first January Dam work site. Question. And while you work at the first January Dam work site, what was the work quota Quel était le quota respecté Answer. Réponse. At the first New Dam work site, we worked in group and in a unit. Chantier, for example, for a, a, a piece of 30 meter land plot, the group had to complete the work quota jointly. And fixé. the previous measurement was the referred to for quota. the commune the mobile unit. Question. Uh, please uh, pay attention to my question as uh, I am only interested in your work at the first January Dam work site. So allow me to say, your group would receive a assignment to work on a 30 meter land plot. And for this 30 meter land plot assignment, was it how many for how many workers? And was it at the first January Dam work site? Les parcelles de terrain que vous avez mentionnées étaient confiées à combien d'ouvriers et s'agissait-il bien du barrage du 1er janvier unit of 30 workers Réponse. jointly at the first Mon January Dam work site. Mon ouvriers a été envoyé travailler sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. Question. And the uh, work assignment for your unit, Question. for instance, pour ce qui est de la how des tâches much de land unité. did you have to work on the per day? 
Quel était le quota à atteindre I'm chaque sorry. jour Combien de mètres At uh, that site, we had to dig between one to one and a half uh, cubic meter. Sur ce site, nous devions creuser each. entre un mètre et un mètre et demi, un mètre cube et demi de terre chacun. Question. Question. Was any heavy machinery used to aid in your work? Des engins ont-ils été utilisés And sur le chantier so there was no heavy machinery Réponse, non, il n'y avait pas de machinerie lourde sur le chantier. Question. Question. And while working there, were you allowed uh, to Lorsque rest vous travaillez là-bas, avez-vous uh, while uh, vous during the uh, in-between working hours Answer. If réponse. we were not sick, we could not take any rest nous ne pouvions pas at nous all. reposer si nous n'étions pas malades. Question. Question. And while you were working there, and for example, in case that uh, you you were thirsty chantier, and you needed to drink or you si needed to relieve yourself, or si vous deviez boire, What did you do? si vous, vous vouliez faire vos besoins, comment procédiez-vous uh, Nous demandions la permission au chef that. de l'unité. However, we were, uh, warned not to stay dit, long in the forest nearby where we relieved ourselves. Lorsque nous allions, nous um, were you being watched over while uh, working there? Et des gens vous surveillaient-ils sur le chantier Answer. Réponse. I only uh, noticed the, the unit chief and uh, I cannot, could not say if there were others because there were many, many uh, workers at the work site. Faisait, mais je n'ai vu personne d'autre car il y avait beaucoup d'ouvriers sur le terrain. What about the uh, relationship between Question. members of your unit? Or were you allowed to uh, chit chat? Quelles relations entre les membres de votre groupe? Aviez-vous le droit de discuter? Answer. Réponse. We could talk uh, while we were working, but we were not allowed to, to sit and to chit chat uh, with uh, other nous workers. Pas le droit de nous asseoir pour discuter avec les autres ouvriers. Question uh, from your experience working there. Did you have any work-related injury or did you observe any work-related injury or cross through other workers? Lorsque vous travaillez sur ce chantier, avez-vous jamais été blessé ou avez-vous vu que des yes, ouvriers étaient blessés Réponse oui. Question. Can Question. you elaborate a bit further Pourriez-vous préciser, s'il vous plaît Answer. Due to fatigue, some workers uh, fell on the ground. Certains as their knees became weak. Question. Were there many similar cases? Question. Y avait-il beaucoup d'ouvriers qui tombaient ainsi? Answer. Uh, no, there were not non. many uh, cases, but occasionally a worker fell onto the ground. Il n'y a pas eu beaucoup de cas de ce Question. In document E3 slash 5267, EN in Khmer is at 00271408, in English 00281035, and in French 00481093. You made the following statements that you started working at 5 o'clock in the morning and the uh, last speaker was played and you were woken up by a whistleblower. 
and then you reach the work station and start working until 12, and you resume from 1 to 5 p.m. Vous dites que vous travaillez jusqu'à midi. However, que if there was a special need, we had to work from 6:30 p.m. to 9 p.m. and electricity was provided at the work site. Il fallait parfois se lever and we tôt. only worked at night for a special assignment. Et éventuellement également travailler Some la nuit. Some workers uh, disappeared during the night. Ailleurs, and my question to you is the following. What was the special condition for night work? Ma question est la suivante. Qu J'aimerais que vous nous parliez des conditions Answer. pour le travail de nuit. We were asked to work at night uh, for réponse. the special reasons that is because at night time it was uh, quite dark and it was easier uh, for them to call someone to the uh, dark part of the uh, of the work site and to uh, tie them up and uh, took la them nuit, away. Il était plus I knew what happened because at the nearby unit, uh, something happened in that unit, and next day, uh, members of the unit disappeared. Si quelque chose se produisait Question. un jour, le lendemain, Did un this kind of special night work happen often? Question. Cela se produisait-il souvent? Answer, I only réponse. knew uh, once. Cela s'est produit une fois. Question. During the period that you worked there, Question. And the first January Dam work site, can you recall whether it was during a rainy season or a dry season? Can you recall whether it was during a rainy season or a dry season? Answer, it was during a dry season. c'était pendant la saison sèche. President, uh, Council Copper, do you have the floor? Maître Copé, la parole. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, no objection, uh, but an observation in relation to the previous question. Je souhaiterais simplement faire une petite um, remarque par rapport à la dernière question. Um, the deputy co-prosecutor quoted a passage le from uh, the statement of the witness, and it seems that témoin. both in French Il and in Khmer, um, working time in the afternoon um, is being noted down as between 1 o'clock uh, and 5. However, in the English version, we have between Mais 1 and 6. En anglais, il est dit um, entre et 18 heures. I think I just take the opportunity to make that observation uh, so that it can be corrected uh, at one point in time that it is indeed, and I'm looking at uh, the prosecution uh, indeed at the Khmer version 1 to 5 rather than 1 to 6. Je me tourne vers l'accusation pour confirmer que en Khmer c'est bien de 13h à 17h et pas de 13h à 18h. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Le Co-Procureur National Adjoint. While you work at the work site, please tell us uh, whether it was during a rainy season or a dry season. Pourriez-vous nous dire si vous avez travaillé sur le chantier pendant Answer, la saison sèche ou la saison des pluies? Season. Réponse, c'était pendant la saison sèche. Question. Could Question. you take a shelter under a shade? Or were there any uh, accommodation where you soleil, could take a shelter when it was hot? And so, no, there was no shade for us Réponse. to uh, non. to take refuge under. Nous ne pas nous à Question. What happened when the uh, weather was Question. very hot? Que se Could il uh, you ask permission to rest during the hottest period of the day and continue to when the sun was not uh, that hot anymore? Votre le était moins Answer. There was a Réponse. quick short rest sessions. Besides, uh, 
question Et il y avait de short breaks pause. were there any rest time question outre ces courtes pauses President, il y avait des pauses witness please longues. observe the microphone le président s'il vous plaît monsieur le témoin faites attention au micro Witness, besides short breaks, there were le no témoin. other resting time. That is, pause. until the, uh, the working hours are concluded, then Et we uh, could pause. rest at our sleeping quarters. Mr. President, I'd like to conclude my line of questioning now and le hand the floor to Monsieur my président, international colleague. President, thank you. And yes, international deputy co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Merci. Le co-procureur international a la parole. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon, Mr. Wutseng. Le co-procureur international adjoint. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. I want to ask you a, a few more questions about the special team for lazy people uh, that you've already told us a little bit about. And I'm going to read a quote from your witness interview. This is at page in Khmer, 0027-1407, in English, 0028-2355. And in French, 0048-2932-33. And this is what you said, quote, when they considered us voilà as being lazy, dit, cite, they would put us in another team si for lazy people. If we did not strive to work there, they would kill us, spécial. unquote. Now, you were asked earlier si how you knew about this team, and you said that, that mobile units work closely together. Do we understand from that that you were actually able to see this special unit for lazy people at work? Avez-vous donc pu observer cette équipe de gens paresseux sur le terrain, en train de travailler? The special unit comprise of people who were considered uh, lazy or who uh, evaded the work or who uh, ran uh, back to the village without uh, authorization or who violated uh, work-related disciplines. Let me read you uh, some Question. next answer. Uh, you were asked how the special, and this is just the next question on in the statement. You were asked how the special unit was different from the ordinary one. And you said, quote, they monitored. Anyone considered lazy would be beaten and mistreated. I saw them beat people. And then a bit later, you say, they only beat and mistreated those in the special team, unquote. So you've just told us that you saw people in the special unit being beaten. Can you describe these beatings? Can you tell us, for example, where they occurred, who carried them out, and what was used to beat these people? Ce qui se passait exactement, qui était chargé de frapper ces personnes et avec quoi? Workers who were placed into the special Réponse. unit were those uh, youths who were based people who had uh, some freedom and who did not strictly adhere to the work-related disciplines. Qui jouissait d'une relative liberté, qui ne respectait pas nécessairement la discipline. Et And uh, they would be instructed to work uh, longer hours than the uh, workers in the ordinary uh, units. I said that uh, they were uh, beaten up. In fact, uh, they were uh, only beaten up with a whip and not a physically beaten up uh, with their uh, hands or uh, with their uh, legs. However, they were uh, threatened to work hard. And can you describe these beatings with a whip 
uh, for us. Who, who was it who administered the beatings, if you know? Ce qui se passait, qui donnait les coups de fouet? It was the uh, chief of Réponse. that special unit. C'était le chef de ce groupe spécial. And in fact, there were two distinct unit chiefs for that special Et unit. One was male to uh, supervise uh, the male workers in the unit, and another one was the female hommes, unit chief who supervised the female workers in that special femmes. unit, respectively. And where did these beatings with whips take place? Question. Et où étaient donnés les coups? Actually, the lower part of the, uh, the, the body that is below the knee to were whipped by the chief. Les gens en des and can you tell us, d did this occur in a public place? Were other workers Question. able to observe these Cela beatings taking place? Est-ce que les ouvriers pouvaient voir ce qui se passait ou pas? They were instructed to line Réponse. up and they Ces were whipped so that the rest of the workers could see and not to follow de their façon example. Que les autres ouvriers les voient bien et ne suivent pas leur and how often did you witness these Question. kinds of beatings with Combien a whip? De fois avez -vous vu que ces personnes étaient ainsi fouettées? It did not happen that often. Réponse. And sometimes I did not uh, Parfois, work closer to uh, that uh, special unit. And how did the people who were Question. being beaten react when they were hit with the whip? They remained uh, standstill and quiet. Do you know whether they suffered any injuries as a result of these beatings? It was not a uh, major in injury. You mentioned a bit earlier that you were able to talk with some of your co-workers uh, during the day while you were working. Did you ever discuss these beatings with your fellow workers? Avez-vous jamais eu l'occasion de parler de ces coups? No, I uh, did not. Uh, such matters uh, could not be discussed with the other uh, workers. Uh, we kept it to ourselves if, as we were afraid that uh, we would be in trouble if others overheard us discussing such matters. Mr. President, I noticed that it's the time for the adjournment for the day, if this is a convenient moment. que c'est le moment de lever l'audience pour aujourd'hui. C'est un bon moment pour le faire. Président, President, merci. thank you. And before we adjourn for Avant today, the chairman would like to inform the, uh, the parties that we received information from the witness Nous and expert support uh, section yesterday that a witness through TCW 830 cannot testify this week due to personal matters. After the conclusion of the testimony of a witness through TCW 887, the chamber will move to hearing testimonies of witnesses and civil parties in relation to the Kapung Chenang Airport work site starting from Monday the 8th of June 2015. And after the conclusion of the testimonies on the Kapung Chenang Airport work site, 
The chamber will hear the testimony of two TCW830 witness on the 1st January Dam website before the end of June. Today's hearing has come to a, a, a conclusion and we will adjourn now and resume tomorrow that is 3rd of June 2015 starting from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow the chamber continue to hear the testimony of this witness say and possibly we are here the testimony of another witness that is through TCW887 and Mr. Utsay in the hearing the chamber Thank you for your uh, time and presence. However, your testimony is not yet concluded. Therefore, you are invited to return tomorrow and it will commence at 9 o'clock in the morning. Court officer, please make necessary arrangements uh, for uh, transporting the uh, witness to his uh, present stay and do that with the uh, collaboration of WISRU and invite him to return to the courtroom before 9 o'clock. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused back to the detention facility and have them returned to attend the proceedings tomorrow before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.